Hey everyone and welcome to a new tutorial for FPS Engine. Today I'll show you how you can import FPS Engine in Unity 6 using URP. So the first thing to know is that you should have installed Unity 6. Now if you haven't, go to your Unity Hub and then go to the Installs tab and click on Install Editor and install the Unity 6 version. Now, once you have that, let's go to Project and New Project. And here, let's choose the Unity 6 Editor version. Now, the Universal 3D Render Pipeline comes selected by default. So let's just ensure we have clicked on Universal 3D. And then let's add a proper name to this. So something like URP uh, Tutorial. Oops, sorry. Okay, Tutorial. And let's click on Create Project. Now we can close this and let's wait for Unity to create and open our brand new project. Alright, so here's our brand new UAP project using Unity 6, but we need to install FPS Engine. So let's go to Window, Package Manager, go to My Assets and search FPS Engine. Now, I already have FPS Engine downloaded, but if you haven't done that yet, you'll see a download button. Now, I'm using the 1.3 version, which is the latest release, and if you are not using that, you'll see an update button, so make sure to update as well. Now, whenever you have it downloaded, let's click on Import. Click on Import here again. Then install Upgrade. And here you can see everything that comes with FPS Engine, so make sure everything is selected and click on Next. And here in the second step, you'll see the Import Settings Overrides. Now, because we need to use UAP with this project, we need to ensure that graphics settings and uh, quality settings are not enabled. The reason behind this is because FPS Engine was originally made in the built-in render pipeline, so if we were to include these settings, our URP settings will be overrided and that's definitely something we do not want to have. So click on import and then here you can click on the first option. All right, once that's done, we can just close the package manager and we can see the Cousins folder. So that means the FPS engine is properly installed into our Unity 6 URP project. So let's click on Cousins demo and the blank scene. The first thing we can see is that the ground is pink. So let's fix that right away. Let's go to Window, Rendering and Render Pipeline Converter. Here we basically want to select Rendering Settings and Material Upgrade and let's click on Initialize Converters. Now Convert Assets. Alright, cool. Now, this has actually updated all the built-in materials from built-in to UIP. But then, why didn't this ground change? Well, that's because the round actually uses a custom built shader, so the converter does not recognize custom shaders and it doesn't update them to UIP, so we need to do that manually. So let's click on, on the round, and here, Let's click on the shader and go to Universal Render Pipeline and Lead. Now, because this is a grid material, we can go to the base map, search for the grid texture, and then we can change the tiling to something like 50 and 50. Okay, let's just hit play here. We got an issue here and it's that everything's blue. Now, this is an actual easy solution. So we can go to our weapon camera and then here on the render type, set it to overlay and then go to the main camera and add it in the stack. So just click on the plus icon and select weapon camera. Just like that, if we hit play now, there's another slight issue though. There's actually no test being displayed on screen. Now. To fix that, we can go to Window, Text Mesh Pro, and Import TMP Essential Resources. So let's click on that and then click on Import. And just like that, 
everything should work as normally. 